LPT, anything you say, can and will be used against you also applies in everyday life. All the time. Every time. Especially in social media. Also in relationships. Especially. Also in social media. Especially. There have been times my transparency has backfired. Trusting someone as a long time friend with your personal secrets and they use it in an argument against you. Had that this weekend. Absolutely sucks but I think it's best to just move on to friends who don't pull that. But not to be confused with bringing up bad habits that need to change. Had this happen before in which I mentioned a certain friend has a bad habit of not paying bills. Then he fired back with that's just like you to bring up past shit. And then proceeds to be horrible with money. That's not past shit. That's present shit. My bills are overdue so it's in the past. I've learned to be careful who you open up to in life. Some people just want to use your words to gossip about you. LPT. Before you open up to a person you met. Listen what they like to talk about. If they talk about other people. They will most likely gossip about you behind your back. Absolutely. After being around a few people who were super negative and talked s about other people constantly it made me not want to be like that. Talking bad about other people is a terrible habit and very bad for your mental health. Listening to it is as well. If someone does this, you are not special. They are all sting your uh, when you aren't around. Talk less. Smile more. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. You wanna get ahead. Fools who run their mouths off wind up dead. Yo 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 what time is it? Showtime. Like I said. I'm John Lawrence in the place to be. Two pints of Sam Adams. But I'm working on three. Absolutely. With workplace politics being what they are. Your words will be used against you. When I was an app. The principal wanted to run off an extremely independent teacher. Great teacher. Just didn't kiss the ring. I was directed to write her up for being late to work. I expressed my reticence at being the hatchet man. And I was told someone's getting written up. Me or the teacher. I wrote the teacher up. Who confronted me about it. And I told her the truth. This was bullshit. I didn't agree with it. But I had no choice. The teacher went to central admin about it. Mind you. I'm a huge fan of this teacher. She'd recorded our conversation. The principal gets called in and calls me a liar and wants me fired. So, our superintendent at the time wants my head. I brought the campus secretary with me, who had issues with principal, who corroborate my story. The principal was written up. The secretary moved to admin. And the teacher was bought out. All before lunch on a Thursday in February. 2011. I've learned to always tape conversations with my superiors after being treated like crap by one years ago. I'm sorry you were put in the middle of the situation. How do you manage the recording? Do you ask if you can record the conversation beforehand? What if they say no or respond negatively? I'm very curious how you go about this. I just start recording on my phone then put my phone in my pocket so the microphone is sticking out or on a desk or chair with the screen facing down. I never tell the other person I'm recording. I'm not sure of the legality of that, but if someone knows they are being recorded they obviously aren't going to incriminate themselves. You are potentially setting yourself up to be infinitely more fucked than you would have been just from being treated like crap from a rest manager. Bowers is for the company, not you. And sometimes even things you didn't say get held against you. I've lost a couple of jobs in my life simply because someone with an axe to grind told someone else that I said something that I never did. When that happens you automatically get treated as if you said whatever it is you're being accused of saying and you have little to no recourse. I've recently learned not to trust the people I work with. An innocent comment will get blown out of proportion and reported to those higher up. One word answers in the future. Careful with that strategy. In my experience it is selectively interpretable as terseness. Lack of desire slash excitement for work. Anger. Etc. It's also true to say that anything can be interpreted just about any way. But single word communications make it easier to twist the sentiment behind a message. Can you suggest a better option? I honestly don't know how to handle it. Update your as you may. I once heard someone say, you are the owner of what you keep to yourself, quiet, but a slave of what you say. This is very true. 
Think twice before saying anything. Think twice again before writing anything. I thought you were going to say think thrice before writing. So when my brain saw the W it gave mine a voice a lisp god damn it. Thwink twice. A listening ear is a running mouth. Be careful who you vent to. Sounds like a mob thing lol. A murder. You can be best friends with people for years, and then all of a sudden they're smearing you across the community and using things, like your deepest insecurities, that you felt safe telling them, because you loved them, against you to twist the knife, and destroy your life. Fun. I maybe have less friends. Just don't expect them to do that stuff, even if we get to fighting each other, and hating the other's guts. It's called decency. If you said it online. There's a screenshot of it. Not sure why people don't understand that. This is so true. I'll never forget this time, when I was having an online debate over a balance change in an online game patch. I was debating them in the game forums over this. But after a while I just kind of forgot about it. Well. Surprisingly enough. After a month or so. I was browsing some footage of the same game on YouTube. And I got recommended a video from a random person. And I recognized my forum icon in the thumbnail with my debate comments. When I watched the whole video. It was just more so of a random person who saw the debate. And wanted to talk about how we were both right and wrong about the balance. Change in certain ways. But still. Damn it was just such a random video from such an unknown internet dweller and it really just goes to show you that your activity can be taken and shown to the world for all to see, even if you're not aware of it. I learned that the concept of deleting something in this day and age is non-existent. We all better be prepared to be held accountable for the things we post and say. That's not true at all. Things are constantly deleted. You just can't be sure if there's another copy somewhere. The paradox of the internet, everything is archived, except whatever you are looking for. Yup. Monks know what's up. Vow of silence is where it's at. Especially if the monk is from Jacksonville. Take it sleazy. Keeping your mouth shut and just staring at people, until they go away is a skill, to be practiced and perfected. If you're like me, you have a lawyer follow you around all the time. For this exact reason. That's weirdly cynical for this sub. It's very cynical and a bit paranoid. Your words might be used against you. But that phrase can and will be used against you is because you are being arrested and are in an adversarial relationship with the person telling you that and they are collecting evidence against you. If you have to apply the same thinking to your daily life, you are either in a bad situation or you have a bad outlook. The people in this thread need to find better friends if they think this is how every relationship works. LPT. Learn when to keep your mouth shut. I run a company and I tell my people on the phone dealing with customers to use short, concise delivery to customers. They always want to explain every little detail, but if you make it too confusing, they will go somewhere else. I could go on and on about situations where it is better to say far less or nothing at all. Information can be a weapon in many circumstances so keep that in mind. I lost my best friend of over 20 years due to a situation and he took things he knew about me and twisted them making me sound like a lunatic. He weaponized my words against me. People can do that. Been in a funny baloney counter-terrorism harassment program for over a decade because I said ya did ehh while being coached by a psychopath to say I did it over and over again. His dad gave me hydrocodone and beers prior to this because his FBI handler told him how to make precipitate a fake terrorism case step by step. He looked really giddy and embarrassed with a stupid sweaty red face when he did it, same as he did when he planted a bomb fragment in my possession as I was stressed and trying to move out of a roach infested apartment in Injanana. True story. I'm literally one of the most expensive human test subjects in modern history under the guise of an investigation. Apostrophe. A vow of silence it is then. This is a sad world. I wanna move. You know. This could be the best place in the universe to live. I don't believe it to be true. But it is very possible that life on earth is the best life. Or where you go on a company PC. Meet a my colleague at a private office. What are you doing in the RIS? Radiology information system. Looking at my patient. He's known locally in our college sports, and I was curious what happened to him. 
me again. Yes but you just left a digital footprint with your sign in. They are going to know. Because she worked in the file room she figured they would overlook wherever she went. Yeah no. Fired two days later. A cautionary tale for you.